Hello, this is DIY Graphic Design. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a WordPress website. This is how finished the website will look like. Uh, right now, it was made to be in a blog style. But as you can see, the menus are archives, about us and contact us pages. If you remove archive section, then the site becomes a regular website with about us, contact us and whatever additional pages you want to add. So by going through this tutorial, you will learn how to create both a blog style or no blog, a regular style WordPress website. In this video, I'll be using Pure Theme from Theme Trust, a company that designs WordPress themes. But from what you learn in this tutorial, you can install any kind of theme. For the ones of you who are not familiar with WordPress themes and WordPress platform in general, WordPress is like an engine, a pre-programmed engine that runs your website. And a WordPress theme is what you put on the top of the engine, a design. So themes you can change as you wish, but the engine, the backside of the website remains unchanged. And themes come free or paid. As you can imagine, a free theme will be typically less extensively developed than a paid theme. In this video, I cover installation of a theme, how to create pages, how to install plugins, define permalinks, and an introduction to sort of behind the scene navigation of WordPress. So here I'm going to my website, diygraphicdesign.com. And here I can see a generic WordPress theme that gets to be installed by default. So I need to change this theme and install my own theme. Just as a side note, if you don't have WordPress configured on your server, you can follow my video through provided link here and configure WordPress on your server first. Or even further, if you don't have a domain and hosting purchase yet, then you can refer to other videos that I created where I explain how to do that. Okay, the first step in installing a WordPress theme is to log into sort of back part of your WordPress website. Here I go to my website, diygraphicdesign.com, and in extension, I have to type after dot com slash WP dash login dot PHP, and that will take me to this place where I can come and log in into my site. Here I type my username and password. The required username and password you will create as you configure WordPress on your server. Now I'm in the dashboard area and this is like a control room of your website. Here is where you will be creating and making all of the changes. In one tab, I will have my dashboard open and in the second tab, I will have the front side of the site so that I can see all of the changes made. Uh, here in dashboard, I will show you how to create posts, new categories, add media, add pages, under appearance, how to install themes, set up menus and add widgets, and under settings, how to set up permalink structure. Under general settings, you can name your website and create your tagline, assign your email address, and further under settings subsection permalinks, and this is important part, you can set up your permalink structure. Permalinks are the endings on your address of your pages or posts on your website. By default, uh, WordPress names your pages or posts with default numbers, and you want the links or addresses of your pages to end with the name of that page. For example, if I'm on the contact page of my website, I want the address to be my website, diygraphicdesign.com, and then slash contact us instead of some generic number. And before exiting this area, I have to click on save changes. In general, um, every time I make some changes in any section of my website, I always have to click on save changes. Now I'm on, under appearance section of my website. And here um, I want to install a theme. Uh, by default, I have 2011 uh, WordPress theme installed. And this is how it looks on the front side. And here I have my pure theme uh, downloaded from uh, Theme Trust. And this is the theme that I will install on my site. And before installing my theme, um, I will go uh, and zip this folder with pure theme in it. So I will select the folder, go to file, compress pure. And now this pure.zip uh, folder or file, I will upload 
to my website. So here I will go under install themes and then upload and then search or choose file, navigate to pure.zip on my desktop, choose and hit install now. And then the last step is to activate so that the actual theme gets to be active. Now when I go to the front uh, part of the website, refresh it, I can see that uh, this pure theme has been uh, installed here. Now I will create some pages. So I go to pages and add new page. This will be pages like contact us and about us. So uh, here I will type about us and then publish. And I will go and create contact page as well. and then publish. And here I will go to post section of uh, the dashboard and under categories, I want to add a new category uh, where the archives of my website will be. And I will rename this hello world by default created category to archives, hit update. And now when I go to appearance under menus, I can create my uh, basic menu. So I will go to where it says main menu here and then enter the name of my uh, main menu. I will type main now, hit create menu. And now under my main navigation menu, I have to add or save this main nav and then add contact and about us pages to menu and also add my archives part. And I simply, as you can see here, I simply drag this archives menu up on the top so that it uh, becomes the first menu. And now when I go to the front part and I refresh it, I can see that uh, I have three newly created menus. Now I will go to pages and um, add some text to about us page. So I will just paste uh, some dummy text and then click update. And now as I go on the front end, click about us menu, I can see that uh, this dummy text is here. Uh, but the problem I have here is that this leave reply section is uh, here, which I don't want to have here. Uh, and I want to remove this reply section. So I go back to pages about us and then I click on quick edit and I untick allow comment section and update. And now when I refresh it, I can see that leave reply part is gone. Uh, now I will go to contacts and create contact page. Before I do that, I, ha I, I have to go to plugins and search for a special kind of plugin that creates contact page. And here I will type contact form seven search plugin. This is a free plugin. So I will just install it now. Hit okay. And then I will activate my plugin. And then I will go to settings of this plugin. Click here. And here I have to put my email address on the bottom to which any of the messages will be sent to. And then I have to copy this piece of code and paste into my contacts page. So I will select this, go to edit, and then copy. And then go back to pages under contact page. And here I will just type welcoming sentence and then paste the code. Hit update. And now when I go back and click on the contact page, I can see that uh, the contact form is nicely uh, created here. So now I will go to appearance and then theme options and I want to change the color 
of uh, some of the accents on my uh, website so that it matches with overall design that I already previously created. Save options and I can see that color accents change and uh, now I go to general and I will upload my logo that I previously made. So I will go to this select files option, navigate to the place where my logo is on my computer. And then I have to click on use this image. And the same thing will be with Favicon. Uh, Favicon is a little graphic that sits right next to the web address in a web browser. And I will also select this image which was previously made. And then before I exit this area, I have to, of course, uh, save options since I made some changes. So now when I go to front part of my website, uh, refresh everything, uh, I can see that uh, my logo is here. Now I will create uh, several posts. So this will be test one. I will just paste some dummy text here and also attach a photograph that I previously made. So we'll just copy from about us dummy text here and then paste it. And then um, under add media here, I will click on that and then upload an image that I uh, earlier made from my computer here. And then insert into post option. And here uh, also I want to set up a featured image. This is a little preview image. So it will be the same, same image. And then I want to check this box to display in homepage slideshow since this website has a slideshow. And then also uh, check under archives uh, uh, section here since this post is part of my archives section of the website. And then I hit publish. And now when I, as I go on the front end of the website, click on the logo here, I can see that the test one is added. But also in the uh, display section, uh, I can see that the text is too long, so I need to shorten it. And so I will go back to my uh, post test one and then add a special kind of line that cuts away text uh, in this um, slideshow section. And now when I, as I refresh it, I can see that test one uh, on the slideshow shows uh, perfectly fine. The text is cut. And now I will create a test two uh, and I will repeat the same thing again, um, pasting uh, some dummy text and adding more, adding another image between uh, the two paragraphs of text. And here the process is the same. I have to uh, check this box to display in a homepage slideshow and also set the featured image and also click on archives. Uh, check that and then publish. Uh, and here I will uh, cut the text for the, uh, for the slideshow and go back to the front uh, part and refresh it. And I can see that test one and test two are being created. So now I will create uh, another one, test three, but instead of adding images, I will add a video, which is uh, something you might uh, need to do from time to time. So I'm uh, pasting some dummy text. I will save a draft of this post, and then I have to go back to plugins and add a new special kind of video plugin that will display um, a YouTube video. It's called W. YouTube player. Search for this plugin. Install it now. I have to activate the plugin. And now as I go to settings, uh, all the way down to WP YouTube player, I can see uh, 
or I can specify the player size and uh, uh, do some other changes if I needed to. But uh, for now, I'll just leave it as is 560 by 344. This will be the size of the player. And now if I go back to my post, uh, test number three, click on it. Um, I can simply uh, type a special kind of code with square brackets, uh, opening and closing, and then type tube. I will paste my uh, previously copied YouTube link, and then I have to finish off this line of code with uh, the square bracket, slash, tube, and then closing uh, square bracket. I will cut the text for the slideshow and then also add featured image here. Check uh, this box for a home page slideshow and then archive section. And now uh, when I refresh, I can see that uh, number test number three is here and being published. When I click on test number uh, three, I can see that I have my dummy text here as well as the YouTube uh, video link directly on this post. So here on the right side, I can see only search option for right now and I want to populate this area uh, and I want to add my Twitter account for anybody who wants to follow me. So in order to do that, I have to go to my dashboard and then under appearances, under widgets, I have to add a little bit of script that I copied from my uh, Twitter account. So I will add a text section uh, to the sidebar option and then I will paste code that I got from my Twitter account and then hit save. And then my search option, I will put right below my Twitter account here. So now when I refresh it, I can see that I have my Twitter account displaying uh, where you can follow and then uh, my search option is right below. And here, uh, if I go back to um, the sidebar, I could add all kinds of different options. I could put advertisement, add my Facebook account uh, and so on. And so this is uh, pretty much all for this tutorial. Um, like I said before, uh, this is a blog style website, but if I was to remove archive section and add some other pages, this could have been just a regular website. <laughs>